All right, welcome back to theinstep.com. This is Adam uh, with Jund Midrange. Uh, it's, it's pretty much the pet deck of Reed Duke right now. Uh, he still thinks it's really good, so he's a good player. And uh, we'll see if, see if he's right. Uh, there's a few changes I made to his list just for like personal tunings, uh, kind of on the one-ofs and, and such. Um, the land base is the 12 shocks, uh, and two forests, and two Kessel of Wolfront, and then a few of the uh, M10 Instrad dual lands to round it out. Uh, the creature package is mostly their controlling creatures with uh, Huntmaster, Olivia, and Thragtust. Um, the two Arbor Elves are, he's good when he's really good, and he's bad when he's really bad. So it's, you have him turn one, and you can. Turn three, a Huntmaster or an Olivia, it's, it's very good. Uh, but when he's late deck, he's pretty bad. Unless you have Wolfron, then he can be serious threat. Uh, the deck is super heavy removal, as, as Jund traditionally is. Uh, so it pretty much gets all the best removal in the format. And then gets some sweet Planeswalkers uh, to be an alternate win condition and source of pseudo card advantage. So your removal is is really heavy, like you have this, 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 and then these are kind of removal spells as well. Uh, basically you're diversifying to hit the, the varied threats right now in standard because there's no one good removal spell, so you kind of have like a little bit of everything to to hit at different times in the game, and that's part of the play of this deck is to know when to play which piece of removal uh, and when in di the different matchups. Um, Tragic Slips are, are definitely back right now because Mana Dorks are huge and Falcon Wrath Aristocrat is still seeing play. So that's uh, a key card. Um, and then it's pretty much a deck like if you can untap with Olivia and some number of red sources, you're going to take the game over. So she's like the, the, main, the main piece. Um, I am playing uh, a Staff and Inn still where a lot of people have cut that. I like the Staff and Inn as a, another sort of card advantage because sometimes you just have like a a weird hand of some ramp and maybe a, a piece of removal or something, but you don't have anything big to get to after this, so it gives you something else to do. Uh, and then if you can have that around for a while, it, it pays itself off quite nicely. It's obviously obviously very bad in the uh, aggro matchup, so it gets sided out very quickly. Um, so we'll see uh, how we do today. Uh, the far seeks can get all the shocks, which is nice. Uh, I feel pretty good. Since he has Lingering Souls and I have Bonfire, it's generally good. But we'll see. Grizzle Brand could be a problem. Alright, we'll show you the sideboard. Here we are with the sideboard for Jun Midrange. Uh, so it's essentially uh, half to sort to shore up your uh, aggro matchups with your Tragic Slips, Pillar Flame, uh, some Mizium Mortars. And then it's to help the uh, reanimation plan uh, because John is traditionally not very good against uh, reanimators so you get some additional graph diggers cage uh, and then some acidic slimes which are generally good against those decks because they're multiple colors so sometimes you can lock them out of a color and then uh, slaughter games so you can either nab their unbearer rights or their uh, fatty if you have they know that you know they have it in hand if you like to rest them early and you know they have like a couple grizzle brands or a couple angel threadies you can take half their hand uh, and then the uh, Underworld Connections and the Duresses are for any other control deck uh, or mid-range deck. Uh, Duress is very good against the Jund Merrimash because it's mainly a spell deck. Uh, and then Underworld Connections is also good for this additional source of card advantage. So you don't get a card advantage by the control decks that have traditional card draw. You have to run card draw that hurts you. Uh, that's about it. So we'll be back with the games.